Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing good today. I'm doing good myself. I'm recording a little bit later than usual, but you know what? I want to get a video recorded for you guys, so accept it, okay? joking i would never do anything i'm a pussy today we have some discord submissions and one from myself aka a discord submission but i couldn't find a discord submission so i do apologize i know a couple of people sent this one in that i'm about to mention we have three submissions they're all good they're all analog horror these ones so there's it's, it's no like uh well i guess they're all kind of analog horror on my channel i guess but they're different types of analog horror i like to think we've got blue horizons i don't know if you remember that we got a neurocast and we got up an appalachian analog horror so they're different kinds of genres within the genre or themes within the genre so yeah if you guys do enjoy why not leave a like rate and subscribe and uh, if you want to send me something on my discord join it down below pop it in the scare bass submission channel if i react to it i will give you a shout out but here we go so the first video we're going to be starting off with is called called Sweet Dreams Neurocast by Burger Scum. This reminds me of a similar one. This one here, AMS Therapy, Repairing Your Memories. I remember reacting to that when that first came out, I believe. And from what I remember, it was a pretty good one. It was pretty it was a pretty good analog horror so this feels like the same kind of vein as that all the creators will be linked in the description down below so go check them out go watch the video alongside me put it in a muted tab or just watch it in your spare time give these people watch time because that is really what pays the bills go like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and uh let's just get into this here we go do you struggle to fall asleep and stay asleep do yes actually i do i gotta say i do i wake up at least like two times at least two or three times in the night it's not good that's why i've got these bags okay but if you look at past pictures of me i've always had these bags it's just genetic feeling exhausted and unrested yeah you said yes you're not alone oh, thank an God. estimated one in three canadians suffer from insomnia canadians and sleep. we're not canadians though luckily well, sweet dreams has the solution sweet and dream. it's helping people get a good night's rest night after night introducing okay. the sweet dreams you know what, you know what this looks like guys sorry to pause it look have you guys seen black mirrors i think it was season four maybe five i don't know what the latest season was but it was that thing that you put on your head and you put on the patient's head and you can feel what they're feeling it was actually it was something that cal pilkington said in the ricky gervais show like years before and it was like he was saying imagine you could do that and it turned but yeah what i'm saying is this looks like that Procast sleep system just imagine waking up feeling refreshed from a wonderful dream and a relaxing oh. night's sleep. You know what? I'm sold already. I don't even care about the side effects. You know what? Order me one. Every How much morning, is it? The Sweet Dreams patented system stimulates areas of the temporal lobe, accessing your deep memory to generate Ooh. a vivid, authentic, and emotional dream experience. Oh, I don't know about that. There's a lot of memories that I'd rather forget about, which is an a, a weird thing to say with the loud. neurocast users have reported longer clearer and more profound dreams than those mm -hmm. experienced during unassisted sleep yeah. pleasant dreams are unpredictable and a nightmare can leave you feeling anxious and unrested but how how do you prevent your brain from giving you a nightmare you know? with the sweet dreams neurocast those rare and beautiful dreams are at your fingertips okay sleeping aids are expensive and have dangerous yeah. side effects a yeah. pleasant dream will leave you feeling relaxed and well rested. So hang on, this thing puts you to sleep as well and it keeps you asleep. That sounds kind of terrifying. The Neurocast comes with a variety of sleep programs to suit your personal preference. Mm. Just picture yourself soaking in the sun on a private beach resort. I don't know, man. Like a lot of people go to like the beaches and stuff, but that's just a moment in time, you know? That's going to get boring soon enough. I think you've got to have some kind of fulfillment, some purpose in life. I mean, yeah, sure, this snapshot of life is very nice to, like, but once you're there, you just realize you're taking yourself with you. So if you fix this up here before going anywhere, it's like everywhere could be a beach, you know? If you fix this, everywhere's a beach. Wandering through a peaceful, enchanted life's forest. Life's a beach, guys. Or sailing the open waters in a luxury yacht. Oh, damn. Get okay. ready for the best sleep of your life. Guaranteed. Okay, I'm sold. For your money back. Okay. The Sweet Dreams Neurocast can be yours for just six simple payments of $49.95. That's pretty Included good. Included is the Neurocast headset, an easy-to-use instruction booklet, sleep mask, and a handy storage case. I like All this. All now, and we'll include three of our most popular dream modules, absolutely oh, okay. free. Modules, interesting. Just pay shipping and handling, so don't delay. 
Order the Sweet Dreams Neurocast system today and start Micro your transactions, journey to guys. better dreams and a better you. Must be 18 or older to call. 18 or older, okay. Okay, so that looked... What was that? Public the health following advice. is a public health advisory on behalf of Sweet Dreams Company and the Canadian Consumer Product Safety Commission. Oh dear. A voluntary recall has been issued on the Sweet Dreams oh, Neurocast why? Recreational I just Sleep Enhancement one. System. Prolonged use has been linked to product dependence and adverse neurological side effects. Such as? Please call immediately if you or a loved one has used the Sweet Dreams Neurocast and are experiencing any of the following symptoms. Oh, okay. Difficulty concentrating. Feeling disconnected from everyday life. Yeah. Inability to recognize yourself in a mirror. Oh. Faces of friends and family appearing distorted. Call the number Jesus. on your screen to arrange a return Germany and Christmas. full refund of your Sweet Dreams Neurocast system. If you encounter this person during the Sweet Dreams sleep program, please do not approach or engage. Was she like a virus? Them. Use the emergency wake-up procedure provided. Wait, what? Emergency wake-up procedure? With the Sweet Dreams Neuro... So hang on. Okay, so I'm guessing with the Sweet Dreams Neuro whatever transmitter thing... You are in, it's a vivid, lucid dream and you're in control of it, right? So I guess you could just be like, okay, get me out of here. Cast. Remember, this individual cannot follow you outside of the dream. If you see them, you are still experiencing the sweet dream sleep program. Oh shit! With the emergency wake up procedure provided would start your journey to better dreams that and a better you. That is crazy. Imagine that, you, you think you're out of the dream, but you see them again and you realize you're still dreaming. That's some inception shit right there. Damn. Okay, I really enjoyed that one. That was that that is a very sh just mwah, analog horror right there. It's just enough to get you thinking. It doesn't over overdo it with, you know, I don't know. It's just just Goldilocks, you know. It's just the middle. It's r just right. So, that was Burger Scum. I'm going to subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff, guys. Go check them out down below. That last one was recommended to me by Hellhound Clown. I don't know if I said that before, but yeah. Um, thank you for the submission, Hellhound Clown. I appreciate it. We're going to move on to the next one. So this next one is called Calibration by Blue Horizons Inc. And it was sent in by Akablant Asson Cardinal Copia. That's, that's the people that I could see that, who sent this in. So thank you. I appreciate it. So for those who don't remember, Blue Horizons Inc. It was, I don't really, the concept is weird. It's like company tapes, but it's like they're made for people who are trying to mimic human behavior. The videos are all about how to smile, how to speak, how to shake someone's hand. And in the handshaking video, she like twists off the hand and it's completely natural. Something really weird is going on basically at this company. I'm not sure who it's run by. There was a video saying a message from our CEO and it was just a spinning block basically. Yeah, so this is a company who makes company. I don't know what the company actually does. But it's basically full of mimics from what I can see or skinwalkers. People trying to pretend like pretending to be human. So Joe Biden. Um, I'm joking. Okay, stop it now. An easy to follow example on the patterns and pulses of biological folding mechanism. Call us for our numbers, credits.html. So yeah, be sure to go like and subscribe to Blue Horizons Inc. This is criminally underrated. Can I just say that? You can see 285 views. The series is fantastic you guys should definitely go check out the series it's quite short and it's just it's different it's really good it's really well done so you definitely should go check it out Following is an exclusive review by licensees and upper management of Blue Horizons. How to dress. Oh, here we go. Okay. Clothes. Meet me. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Joy. Miked. So Joy was in the last video, and she was talking about transparency. Because apparently Hello? there was some kind of event that happened... I'm not sure what the event was. I didn't, I, I should have rewatched that video, but she, I don't know if she's like forced against her will here or if she's a bigger part of it, but yeah. Well, hello, Joe. How's your day going, fellow coworker? I know, I am buried in maximizing customer-centric synergy through holistic feedback methodologies for optimized service paradigms. Jesus. The usual. 
Well, I would love to grab lunch. What were you thinking? Burger barn, jam and tuna. Mexican. Mm, I feel oh, like this is just some tuna stuffed tomatoes. I'll meet you in the lobby in five. You know, this is how HR Great, how wants all their employees to act. X. So wait, that wasn't the clothes. But today, thanks to technology, clothes now a plant-based product. What? Go green, get clothed. So what's the name of Young Justice? I Good afternoon. What name is. This is Joy speaking. Megan, Megan. Oh hi, Joe. What can I do for you? Who is this Joe character? <laughs> Don't say it, guys. Don't say it. Are you serious? You said that to him. <laughs> well, Joe, I hope you dialed line four because that was completely inappropriate on your part. Oh. It is important that Blue Horizons maintains a safe and welcoming environment. What do you do? Just remember to uphold the corporate spirit that transcends the boundaries between the labyrinth of memos and the ever-shifting landscape of office harmonization. This girl just <laughs> speaks in corporate. This oh, is an alien. Great. I'll talk to you later, Joe. This literally is like if an alien just came down and started learning buzzwords and just corporate behavior and then just kind of molded themselves into a human i'm um, actually you know the more i think about it the more that probably people will work it work in big corporate jobs like this probably are aliens or clones what joe needs to do is stop looking so terrible so this is joe is that who she was talking to nobody wears bleach white and bleach white is bad we can't have that crayon white <laughs> we approve of okay Tomato white. Toner sniffing management, this is Joy speaking. <laughs> Joe? Is that you? You sound strange. What's happening? <laughs> is this about that silly union effort that you keep poking at? I told you that. Oh, so in the in the CEO's message. Uh, I think which was the second or third video there was like, it was basically a block that a, a letter kept appearing on it and like if you just kept, kept it going you could see that eventually like sentences were being like made and they were basically saying anyone engaging in union activities would be terminated are like sneaky raccoons rummaging through a company's garbage bins <laughs> Joe you're scaring me with all this Nonsense. Mm. <laughs> Joe wants to form a union. Absolutely not. Oh. I have principles as a loyal employee, as a God fearing woman, and mm -hmm. as just a person that cares about this company's well being. Even if a union were to take out our 70 hours a week. What? Oh, brilliant. Okay. So we're not allowed to watch this so, bit. I don't want to hear anything else. What's about happening unions, on screen? Joe? Do you have something work-related for us to talk about? Where is she? Oh, I, I, I don't have time for this. I, I have a mountain of toner to sort through. What the hell does that even mean? What, like ink toner? I didn't know that, no. <laughs> this man's beatboxing. Don't you know, you know, it reminds me of that freaking uh, that scene from Men in Black 2. Ah! Uh, we agreed to never. The guy looks like ruckus. It was specifically outlined in the HR paperwork. <laughs> Our copy is only nine years old. I what? What on earth would possess you to think of it like a corporate asset? I'm very confused. You consistently prioritize this company over the team. You know, you claim to be such a great colleague. But every opportunity you've had to demonstrate that, invariably you have some sort of corporate obligation. 
It is the perpetual clock of corporate life takes away every minute. Why is we she have... talking like this? It's like freaking Shakespeare. Complicated. You strategically distance yourself from our shared emotional investments. Jesus. She speaks, you know what? No, I'm just dumb. That's what it is. I'm merely an undervalued asset to you. I am nothing to you. Oh dear. What is going on, man? Why has he got one eye? I am nothing to you. I am nothing to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's I that in the background? To you. I am nothing 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 to you. I am nothing. Who are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Who are you wearing? What Who are you wearing? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Greetings. Joe, how was your work trip? As expected, your ideas are valued. This feels like the Truman Show. So that is a person stood in the background there, just watching her speak. I had thoughts of you as well. Our situation is uncertain indeed. We may need to cease our association. Very uncertain circumstances. Hmm. What, what is happening? Despite all that's happened, you know, I would really hate for us to part ways. What has so happened? How about we delay our decision for now? What do you think? Excellent. Great talking. Also, how about we try Mexican for lunch? You know my particular liking of ethnic food. Oh, okay. So, what, she, what she's just trying to be... What, what is happening here? Oh. So, all of that before was the wrong way of talking. That was called calibration. So, what, what was she calibrating the human... Uh, with the color the humans being calibrated there to say and do the right things i'm surprised that no one is talking about joy both emotion wise and law wise not only does she say our copy at 447 which is their way of saying child but the fact she stared into the camera while repeating i'm nothing to you could imply that joe 22 placed the video camera or responsible for the video in some way in order to record joy's calls among other small pieces of law Overall, this is an amazing video. These guys are criminally underrated. And whilst I don't really understand what the hell is happening, I feel like this is something else. Different to what I've watched, for sure. And it surprises me how many times I say that. But how I don't know how creative people can get. But there we go, guys. That was Blue Horizons Inc. Be sure to go and just give the video a like. Go watch the video for yourself. You know, give these guys some views, some watch time, subscribe, all that good stuff. There are 994 subscribers, guys. So, you know, let's try and... There's six subscribers, guys. Get them to 1,000. That's all I ask if you're watching this video. Go and subscribe to them. We're going to move on now to the last video. Now, this last video was submitted, I remember, a while ago by a few people on my Discord. I'm sorry I, I, I tried scrolling up, but it's obviously way up there. Um, I can't find it. But this is called Appalachian Analog Horror Forest Folk, the first tape, and it's by BAM. It caught my interest, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this VHS tape holds a significant secret. There are so many questions, so many unanswered questions. What were those things? Who made this tape? What does any of it mean? I will find more. I have to find more. Last video of the recording session. This video may contain valid emergency alert system EAS tones. These tones are intended for emergency purposes only and should not be played on air. By watching this video, you understand and acknowledge that it is strictly forbidden to broadcast these tones on any radio or television station. Playing these tones on air without a genuine emergency can create confusion and panic among the public. It may also... So, wow, Jesus. So th is, it, is that the truth? Well, I guess, yeah, you that would be the truth. I guess you'd have to uh, disclaim that you're about to hear something, you know, if you did play it on radio. Forest folk. The forest folk. Everybody here is beautiful. Here we have a stream. I'm making this video because I can't believe what I have just seen. 
What have you seen? Is this real? 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 Is anything real? Found this tape on a walk in the woods just off of Roby Martin Road. Roby Martin Road. Roby Martin Road. Roby Martin Road. Watch closely. Pardon me, oops and daisy. The following images depict entities located west of Patterson. This tape is to be destroyed upon documentation. Any attempt to copy or distribute this tape will be met with a minimum $20,000 fine and a minimum prison sentence of 10 years. Thank you for your cooperation. You have been warned. Okay, brilliant. Well, we're in trouble. Exhibit A. What the hell is that guy? Stanley's photo. Exhibit B. Jesus. David's photo. Exhibit C. Unknown photo. <laughs> Meep. Little alien there. Exhibit D. Destiny's photo. Stanley's photo, presumed to be captured by Stanley Green, depicts a humanoid entity with fungal-like features. The photo was found undeveloped in an abandoned personal camera east of the Yakin River. Stanley's whereabouts are unknown at this time. He is likely deceased. Damn, you don't say. God looks like a tree. David's photo, presumed to be captured by David McClure on a nearby trail camera, depicts another humanoid entity with fungal-like features. After a distressing 911 call, was placed by David, the local authorities responded to his report of a stranger lurking, okay, near his home. Signs of forced entry were apparent and David was found deceased at the scene. Upon further examination, David's mutilated body revealed that his skin had been violently ripped away. Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's not very, what? We all died, nothing is the same. What is this? Assassin's Creed? Like everything is permitted. What, what is it? Destiny's photo depicts a humanoid woman that shares strong characteristics with that of a fungal life form. This photo was provided to the Bureau by an anonymous source with a note attached that reads, um, Yesterday is gone. Your destiny is awakened. Further analysis required. Ah, uh, good God. End tape. Okay, interesting. What were those things? There is something going on. There's more. Oh, Jesus Christ, is this what's it called? Uh, I don't know if I, I'm allowed to... Hang on. Let me turn this down. Uh, America's Funniest Home Videos, 2pm. The Super Mario Bros. Super Show, 3pm. DuckTales. Family Matters. Who is in your bedroom? What are you doing in here? It's a man just doing a goatsy in the corner of my room, guys. That's Funky Town, man. I can't... That, that The thing is, if you know about Funky Town, guys, it's like people who don't know about Funky Town, smiley face. People who know about Funky Town, void face. You know? I'm not even... That's all I'm going to say. I, I personally haven't watched that video, and I don't intend to, uh, but I know of it. If you know what I'm talking about... Then yeah, let's just let's just leave that there. The forecast. Sunny. Partly cloudy. Void. <laughs> the demons are falling from the sky. At 5pm, we're going to be having a portal from hell opening up, and we're going to be rained down on with blood. May the Lord's mercy guide us all. What is happening, man? What is that thing? Get that thing off the damn screen! Oh, it's doing like a peace symbol. I know, I think it means good. Uh, North Carolina for is that North Carolina there NC uh, issue an emergency action notification for the following counties Alexander Allegheny Ash Avery Burke. this is an emergency broadcast for all residents of Alexander Allegheny Ash Avery Burke Caldwell Catawba Cleveland Iredell 
McDowell, Rutherford, Watauga, and Wilkes counties. Please mm -hmm. remain calm and pay close attention to the following message. Okay. What you are about to hear is of utmost importance to your safety. We regret to inform you there is an imminent threat. Multiple reports have come in detailing grotesque and inexplicable phenomena occurring throughout the foothills region of North Carolina. Ah, uh, okay. We have confirmed eyewitness accounts of people vanishing without a trace, malevolent entities lurking in the forest, and unsettling broadcasts transmitted via television and radio. Ah. Stay away from the forest. After this message, turn your televisions off and keep them unplugged until 6.30 p.m. That's in very the specific. Well, the entity's got bedtime, then. they got to be in for their dinner. Been ...trying to break into your home, oh. defend yourself with any sort of weapon you can find. Remain calm. Stay vigilant. I've got guns, guys, okay? I've got these guns. I'll defend my home. It's all good. I won't really. I'll get killed straight away. <laughs> Have you seen this man? That looks like something from Battington series. It looks like the, the, the doll maker or whatever his name is. The toy maker. Reach foothills. Containment status not contained. Cause Wibberdactyl. I'm going to go back. I will find more of these tapes. Stay up dated. This is just. Oh, okay. Oh, well, my camera just died then, but. Okay, so what's interesting about that, there is a second tape um, that we can probably watch in, a, in, a, in another video for sure. But that was interesting. I enjoyed that one. That was good. Um, a little bit of a mixture of everything there, you know. Uh, doesn't quite give away what's happening, um, but we know that there's something out there. So I guess that kind of leaves the mind exploring for what it could be. But yeah, I enjoyed that. That was by Bam. Be sure to go like, subscribe. All creators that I've shown today, guys, have... Uh, I would say they're very underrated. Um, and one thing I like about me doing reaction videos on stuff like this, in particular like analog horror and stuff, is that I like exposing or just, you know, shining a light on all this talent that is going under the radar and hoping to God that maybe you guys just go check it out for yourself. You know, pop them in a different watch tab mute, or just go watch this, the, the videos for yourself. You know, go support them by liking and subscribing. <clears throat> I like pushing new people out there you know because it encourages other people to who are very talented to come up and be like maybe i have a chance you know and i know i'm, I'm not that big of a creator uh, maybe i don't have as much influence as i would hope to have like i don't really care about influence and stuff but when it comes to stuff like this i do care about people going and you know supporting each other that's what it's all about guys that's what this game youtube game should be about it's uplifting everyone else you know everyone grows not what you can't just one person grow if everyone grows together life is mwah. life is lonely if you get to the top and you're on your own you got to bring everyone else around you up with you because that's the best way to do it that's what life's all about you know but there we go guys that is today's video i hope you did enjoy those were some nice selections thank you for submitting them if you did on my discord once again join my discord down below submit me something scary in the scare bass submission page if i watch it i will give you a shout out if you enjoyed this video guys why not drop me a like rating subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next video take care guys